All right, folks, welcome back to the Probing Grounds here on Probing's Garage. Uh, today we are going to go through what I did to make the business end for Maricart. Um, when I say business end, I mean this is basically one of the most critical elements on this thing because this is what's going to make it go. We needed to figure out a way to get the power from the engine, sprocket off the side of the engine to the rear wheels. And I made it, wanted to make it uh, independent rear suspension, but to do that, we had to have some type of axle in the middle that would stay stable with the frame, and then hook that up to some CV axles, and then down to the wheels. So we went ahead and fabricated some parts on the lathe, um, bought a couple things. Some of the things here, actually most of the stuff here, you can just go and pick out of a junkyard. A um, couple CV axles, some wheel hubs, um, and a couple spindles, which we're not going to get to in today's episode. We'll get to that in the next one. But those are basically going to attach to these hubs here, and that will connect it to the frame. So, let's get at it. So the first thing I did was figure out how I was going to make this axle removable so that I could get my sprocket off and replace it if I need to, or if I need to change the amount of teeth that I want on my sprocket and be able to put a new rotor on if I need to. So I decided to use some old CV axles and just cut the ends off to get the spline and then turn that down the lathe so everything would fit properly. And then that fits up to a hub which is completely removed. The next thing I did before I actually got the sprocket and the rotor installed was to build the hubs that are or the, the adapters that were going to connect the hubs to the other CV axle. So basically this was just three pieces I turned down on the lathe. I didn't get all that lathe work on video because it's just kind of boring. So basically I took a piece of plate cut that out with an angle blaster, turned it down on a lathe to make it true and round. And then I did the same thing with this. This is just a thicker piece of plate. And then the middle piece here is just a piece of schedule 40 pipe. got uh, both hub adapters made and we have our axle that goes in so I needed to make a hub which is going to hold the sprocket so I just cut this out as a quarter inch plate turned it down on the lathe to the right diameter made a little notch in here like I've done with a bunch of other stuff just to get things aligned and then I marked my holes so I'm going to drill those out and then this slides right on here and that's going to hold my sprocket. Then all I need to do is make another one to hold the rotor and then I can weld this on the end and then we're in business.
All right, well, we're at the last point of putting this axle together. Last thing I need to do is weld this splined end onto the shaft. I got <laughs> both hubs welded on here for the brake rotor and for the sprocket. This splined end is all welded onto the shaft. So everything's connected except this end. And the most critical part of this is to make sure that this splined end is true to this splined end. And so I got it set up in the lathe just to hold it together so I can tack weld it. And then I can finish weld it out of the lathe. And I got my dial caliper on here set up to see how true it is. So it's in the chuck down here, clamped in. I got this as true as I could while it was in here. And so all the way at the other end is where you're going to have the most amount of play. And I figured I was going to have, you know, maybe five, maybe ten thousandths. And I was going to live with that. It was, you know, it's not ideal, but I was going to live with it. So I put it in here. And you can see as I turn this, we're within one thousandth of an inch. <laughs> so I am pretty happy about that. is done and this is a huge step in getting Maricart ribbon. Now it may not seem like a lot but this was a lot of stuff to get done on the lathe, uh, a lot of stuff with welding and a lot of trying to be really precise because we don't want this thing to vibrate when we're driving around and ripping up to who knows 100 miles an hour maybe more. So let's get this thing together. like it's gonna work. I'm pretty happy with how everything turned out. It was definitely a lot of work to get to this point and I had to pay careful attention to make sure that everything was gonna fit really nice. So I took my time. And I think it paid off. So I'm super excited that this is done because next time we're gonna start mounting the motor. We're gonna get this mounted to the frame and we're gonna be pretty close to putting power to the ground. So thanks for stopping by. We'll see you next time on Probe's Garage.